Hello everyone, and welcome back to WWE All-Stars, and we're going on the next match for the Fantasy Warfare, which is the Stars and Stripes Showdown, where it's Sword and Slaughter versus Jack Swagger. When two patriotic WWE superstars clash, fireworks are sure to follow. And, uh, it's gonna be pretty obvious who we pick here. The WWE has long been heralded as America's greatest export. Through freedom of expression, two superstars in particular have wrapped themselves in the stars and stripes and proclaimed themselves to the world as the embodiment of America for their generation and beyond. Listen up, maggots. America's sergeant at harm is in the house. Stand at attention, you piece of human waste. And listen up. And here's your All-American American, Jack Swagger. I'm going to give the WWE Universe what they want. More Jack Swagger. The Sarge took charge from the get-go. This former drill instructor devastated the WWE in the early 80s with slaughter style, shock and awe. I don't know of any professional wrestler today as tough as Sergeant Slaughter. The Sarge never backed down from a fight, no matter the battlefield, no matter who the enemy may be, from the Middle East or the Midwest. But now I have a bigger, rougher, tougher opponent. My name is Jack Swagger, and I am an all-American American. When I was a young boy, my father sat me down. He said, one day you'll be a world champion. Prophetic words indeed. Swagger quickly earned his stripes climbing the ladder to the World Heavyweight Championship. He has already laid claim to the title, biggest superstar of the 21st century. WWE's new poster boy, and his name is the two-time, two-time All-American, American Jack Swagger. You wanna fight me? I'll declare war on you anytime! I don't fight people below me. If you wanna come after Sergeant Slaughter, I'm all by myself in the ring, but I got America behind me. But I guarantee you, no one has the ability to eliminate me. You are dismissed. And that's an order. The battle lines have been drawn, but the war has not yet been waged. It's a Stars and Stripes showdown. Who is America's true hero? Your finger is on the button. What will you do? Weighing 300 pounds. God, look at that chin, though. South Carolina, you can Sergeant break shit with Hunter. that chin. You can probably break a watermelon easily with that chin. And his opponent, weighing 260 pounds, from Perry, Oklahoma, the All-American American, Jack Swigger! Alrighty, here we go. Oh, damn push-ups. Oh, real classy. Real classy. Come here. I'll beat, I'll beat you up. Wow. Oh, God damn it. No. God. Leave me alone. I'm supposed to punch you. Ow. Nope. Okay. No. No special move for you. Oh my god. Let me have some offense, my dude. <laughs> He's literally wrecking my shit. That's something, I think. Oh my god, I can't reverse. It's the curse. The curse of the reverse. I can't reverse. I'm, I'm really trying, folks. I'm really trying to reverse stuff. 
suplex. Okay, cool. Oof. Oof. Popeye. Doing that special brought me back to an even playing field, thank god. Ooh, uh oh. This. That move should be illegal. Oh. God damn it. Actually for a while it was. Uh the power goes. The more you know. His opponent had better learn to look out. He's had success already. Another one. You get more. You get more punches. That's what you deserve. It seems like he's just floating through the air somehow. Can he keep up the pressure? And this oh another pile driver. Oh, oh, God. Pile driver. Gosh, did you see that? What? Okay. Jack Swagger, not doing so well. Oh Jack. god. I didn't. I don't know if he can go I didn't see the reverse all the time. Oh god. Tremendous elbow right there. Perfectly. Is I feel like the legends only have like one or two signature or I think the flip they're called. I think they're the signature moves. But it just it just feels very like why? They should have more. See, like, again, that's like the only one I <laughs> apparently have for this guy. Salute. <gasps> oh, oh, I did lose it. I was about to say, did I lose it? But, I know I did. Booty. His maggot riddled booty. He beat it. But his chin, though. His chin. Uh, Mock Sergeant Slaughter. Biggest superstar fantasy warfare match. Ooh. Yeah, I, I can't reverse for shit. This is, this is nothing new. Hulk Hogan versus John Cena. Cheered by millions throughout the WWE Universe. Who is the greatest superstar in WWE history? Well... I'm just going to pick this blank space, because fuck Hulk Hogan. Within each generation, there is one iconic figure whose success is transcendent, going beyond even world championships. They are men who seem immortal. They are the icons of their time. Hulk Hogan and John Cena, the personification of their generations. January 24th, 1984, the day Hulkamani was born. Hulk Hogan, he dropped the big leg on him! Behind the champion, history made in Madison Square Garden! Hulkamania is here! I feel the energy! Hulkamania is running worldwide! They broke the ball when they made this man! Hulkamania shall live forever! Hogan was an American hero through and through. There was no gray area within the red and yellow. There's only one Hulk Hogan, Daddy. I will meet any challenge, and when I get too old and gray, then I gotta let one of the little hosters take over. You're gonna remember me for a long time, brother. April 3rd, 2005, the birth of C Nation. WWE Championship on the line. Cena's gonna do it! Cena wins! The time is indeed now for the new WWE Champion. of sports entertainment and I am surrounded by all of you what would happen if generations could collide a match the world wants to see we'll never see Tyson and Ali we'll never see Babe Ruth and Barry Bond this match will happen the 
is where the power lies. This is my life. This is my passion. This is all I got. God created the heaven. He created the earth. He created all the Hulkamaniacs. Then he created a set of 24 Pythons, brother. Take the greatest match of all time and turn it into the biggest knockdown Dragon Ball brawl you have ever seen in your life. I'm going to ask you one question, brother. You want some? What you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Come get some! The outcome is in your hands. Hulk Hogan versus John Cena. Who is the biggest superstar of all time? Making his way down Ugh. the aisle, weighing 302 pounds from Venice Beach, California, Hulk Hogan. I just, I just don't, I just don't like this guy. I just don't. And on top of that, he's racist. So. Huh. I guess John Cena's here. But we just, like, just, just, there's nothing there. It's so weird. I think the game's glitching. All right. Don't let's go, Hogan. This is not the 1980s. Good lord. Oh my god. That hurt. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh. Oh, not even close. What? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. You are gonna get it. You're gonna get it, sir. You're gonna get it. You, sir, are gonna get it. If you let me get you, that'd be nice. You, sir, are gonna get it. Yeah, how did that feel? Not good, did it? Big old bleach blonde jerk face. Oh god, no. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. I wish I could reverse. That'd be so nice. Whee! So, suplex. Okay. Fuck you, you jerk. Oh, reverse my shit. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, the hate. The hate I have for you would show immense. So much hate for you. Oh. Ow. Yeah, gonna make you go to sleep. Ow, come on, why can't I reverse? I hate, I hate, I'm turning into my friend Ari, I hate. <laughs> Stay down. My barriers are gonna have a bell ringing any moment now. Okay. Okay. It's not looking so good out there at the moment. Yep, nope, it's not. Oh, come on. You know what? Fuck it, I don't care. We won. Asshole.
further proof that they hate you, Hulk Hogan. God, that's over with. Most charismatic fantasy warfare match unlocked. Nice. That's very considerate that you guys gave me three stars. I feel like that was a one star performance on my defense. All right, most charismatic fantasy warfare match. Randy Savage versus John Morrison. From the flashy outfits to the cool shades to the high flying moves, these two superstars have it all. Obviously, we're going Macho Man. Jesus Christ, that's not even a question. Charisma, the it factor. That certain magnetic charm or appeal that is difficult to define. But you know it when you see it. You've either got it or you don't. And these WWE superstars have it in a huge way. I am the cream here. Yeah. The cream of the crop. And there is no one that does it better than the Macho Man Randy Savage. I am John Morris, the guru of greatness. The Macho Man Randy Savage, the shaman of sexy John Morrison. These gaudy grapplers from different eras share similarities in both style and substance. Mm, yeah. Standing ovation for the Macho Man! Fastest gun in the West, East, South, and North. Yeah, all over the world, that's the Macho Man Randy Savage. Many men claim to be macho, but there is only one macho man. Take a look at this piece of work. Look at that beautiful man. Macho's genius was macho madness. Here it comes. Yeah. The patented flying elbow. Oh, good night. And I'm the macho man, Randy Savage. And when it comes from me, that says something. Oh, yeah. What determination. What ability. High flyer, he does it all. Savage was deservingly crowned the Macho King. But in the palace of wisdom resides the one and only Maharaja of manliness, John Morrison. The honcho of hotness. You're looking at the shaman of sexy, the hottest young superstar in all WWE. Morrison emits a magic that can seemingly make time stand still. His athleticism is beyond description. Starship pain, if you've never seen it before, get ready! Don't blink, you will miss something. John Morrison is gonna get crazy like a werewolf on the moon. The countdown to the blast off of Starship pain has begun. I am the Lord and Master of the Ring, and you're gonna find that out one athlete to another right now. This may be the greatest match for both of them. Their similarities would breed certain contempt. Exist together in harmony? Impossible. Both incredibly flamboyant, both exceedingly athletic. Can either superstar survive this collision of cacophonous charisma? The outcome is in your hands. Oh, God, look at him. He's absolutely amazing. Look at the crown. Macho King. And they're still talking at super loud outside. Wow. All right, Macho Man, show this guy that you're better than him in every way. Oh, God. Oh, God. And we're going to do 
a big move after this, and we're gonna see if I can get a chapter up move since it's Macho Man. Locks him up. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Nope. Oh, God damn it. I'm never allowed to do cool things. I'm stuck just grappling everybody. That is that is my curse now. Oh, God damn it. Oh, butt breaker again. Because I'm a legend. You know, they only have one or two. No diversity. That was a textbook atomic drop, folks. He's going to feel back in the morning. Good lord. That was a good suplex. No, please don't do that. Oh, <laughs> and again, butt breaker. I don't think it, that's what it's called. Like that to move. Randy Savage is on a winning streak right now, folks. Oh, okay. I'm with you on that one for sure, Jr. Ooh, Let's see if I can hit you with that. Oh, come here. Come here. No. Put your guard down. Put... Ow. Ah. Oh god, I got him! <laughs> I could die happy now. That... Would you quit reversing everything? Oh, of course you did. Of course you did. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah. Alright, butt breaker. Give me butt breaker. Butt breaker. Butt breaker. Alright, I want to wait till you get up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the disrespect sitting him on his chest. Oh, macho man. That better get some smelling salt. Class. He had his glasses on the whole time. How crazy is that? You have unlocked Ruthless Aggression Fantasy Warfare match. Ruthless Aggression. Jimmy Snuka versus Kane. These two WWE superstars fight with a with a ruthless aggression that sparks fear in the hearts of their opponents. Cool. I'm a huge Kane fan, so I'm going Kane. The world of sports entertainment is resplendent with superstars with uncanny charisma and superior athleticism. But there are a select few who strike fear in the hearts of their opponents. Kane, the enigma, shrouded in mystery, his menacing presence fueled by uncontrollable rage. What in the hell will it take to keep this man? Superfly Snooker, primal, intense, fearless, impervious to pain. No one can do what Snooker does from the top rope like he does it. Snooker's body is his weapon. Jimmy can do anything he wants to do right now. One of the most phenomenal athletes the World Wrestling Federation has ever seen. He looks in unbelievable shape. He looks better than ever. Ruthless and aggressive, Kane and Jimmy Superfly Snooker are forces to be reckoned with. With no regard for life or limb, their own or their opponents, both have left a super highway of destruction in their wake. Superfly punch! Tamed and savage, man or beast, they are the faces who instill fear. We're both sick, twisted, and demanded. And most of all, we both love pain. <laughs> I will feast on the fear of the innocent. Nobody gets up after the Superfly puts the final touch on him. Welcome. 
your nightmare. <laughs> this is your destiny. They want to see him fly. Witness at your own peril. Speed versus size. Strength versus agility. A tortured soul versus reckless abandon. Who displays the most ruthless aggression? You decide. The end always justifies the means. We're gonna have problems here. I do like this game, Zana. Seems like pretty, pretty rocking. <laughs> He's only a couple steps away from just having a little lion cloth over his, his junk. Oh, man. Ooh. He's looking a little fancy. This is just like an instant KO, and I can pin him set situation, or I have to leave. Oh, I have to leave. Okay, I have to leave the cage. Right. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, he's coming after me. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, just, just jump. Jump. Oh my god. Oh, that hurt. Oh, missed that. Oh, he just Ooh. smashed some nice strikes here with the knee. Box him up. Oh, he's down the world. Uh oh. How is this moving yet? I maybe came. Maybe, maybe my thing is not right. Maybe maybe I just I'm not doing it right. What? We're witnessing some amazing technique here tonight, folks. This could be it. This could be it. He may be. Yep, got it. And your winner. Woo! Yeah, Tickle Winkle's got it. I unlocked Kane and the Undisputed Fantasy Warfare match. Nice. Ooh. All right, we're gonna save that for the next episode because I'm gonna call it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Again, I can't say this enough. I'm loving this, revisiting this. It's so much fun. 
I, oh God, just so much fun. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all in the next video with these two going at it at the very beginning of that video. Uh, yeah, and again, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.